Just wanted to show you guys how tiny these are. Hello friends, Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Just got back in from the grocery store. I saw something unique here in Southern Ontario, what we call Chiquito Bananas down in the Southern Caribbean. Some of you may call it baby bananas, but I saw it, I had to bring it home and we're about to cook up a recipe with those. If you cannot get these little baby bananas, you can use half a ripe plantains with the same effect. And the ingredients are pretty simple. We've got those chiquito bananas, onion, scallion, some salted fish that I already boiled and um, flaked up, garlic, pepper, and a little bit of tomato. I'm gonna be adding some olive oil to there. So let's get cooking. Yeah. And all you're gonna do, and this is pretty much what we call a boil and fry recipe. So I've got these baby bananas and with the skin on and everything else, what we're gonna do, break them off and put them in a pot with water and bring that up to a boil. We will not be salting these because the remaining salt from the salted cod will be enough to flavor this dish. But that's all you're doing. You're gonna bring it up to a boil and boil it for about five to 10 minutes or so. It's come up to a boil now, so I'm just gonna reduce to sort of a rolling boil. It's gonna go discolored, that is quite fine. It won't be that brilliant yellow that we started off with. But now we're just gonna boil this on that rolling boil until the baby bananas or chiquito split. Once they split, it means they're fully cooked. Just gonna show you guys what I mean when I said split. You'll notice here, the skin, the skin is split open. It means they're fully cooked now to the point where we want it. So I'm just gonna turn off the heat, pour this out, drain it, and allow it to cool so we can peel them. So next up, this is the frying part. I've already gone in with a little bit more, with a little bit of olive oil, medium high heat. And we're gonna go in with some sliced onion. As well as some finely chopped garlic. Just let that go, turn the heat down to low. I let that go for about two minutes. And all I did here was to remove the skin. As I said, once they cool down, guys, the trick to this recipe is to not have overly ripe chiquito bananas, but to have half ripe, what we call half ripe, so they're still a bit firm. We're gonna go in now with that diced up salted cod. Not diced up, but shredded. And all it is basically, you're gonna take that salted cod, soak it in water, then you're gonna boil it. Um, to remove most of that salt and then you would drain it, uh, rinse it with cold water and shred it, remove most of that salt and to rehydrate the salt fish. In the description of the video below, I'll have a link on how to do that, how to prepare salted fish for, for um, cooking. Let that go, my heat is still on low, let that go for about three minutes. Now this is where I would go in with some fresh ground black pepper, but for some reason our black pepper grew legs and it ran away from home. Don't know, don't ask the kids where it went to, but hey, we have no black pepper in our house right now. So guys, go with some black pepper. I have here two sliced up scallions. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bird's eye pepper or bird pepper that I chopped up finely. Seeds and everything, that step is optional. If you want to go in with some scotch bonnet pepper, you can certainly do that. Let's give that a quick stir. Going with a little bit of chopped up tomato, and we're gonna go in with those little bananas. Be very gentle with them now because we don't want them falling apart. We just want to heat these through and get all that lovely flavor mixed in to the bananas. Just let that go low heat for about a minute or two, and that's it. Smells absolutely delicious in the kitchen here. This is what I call comfort food. This is what I grew up on on the islands, guy. What is water and to get in there? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I hope you guys give this a try. The next time you see it in the grocery store, pick it up, man. It makes a wonderful kind of country kind of dish. Have a great day and always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen. Click subscribe, hit like, check out CaribbeanPod.com.